Hello, in this video I will show you how to create pivot tables to reorganize and restructure the data. In this file I have a list of students and their grades on courses taught by different teachers or different professors. Uh, as you can see, uh, each student is listed multiple times with a grade uh, for a different professors or teachers. So uh, if we scroll down, we can see that each student is listed multiple times and each professor is listed multiple times. And this happens over the course of several semesters. We have data from the spring, from the summer, and from the fall semester to a total of 185 observations. So let's say that I want to aggregate this data and summarize it. So I can use a pivot table to do that. I will go to the insert menu and then click pivot table. And um, Google Sheets is already recognizes that there's data in the columns A through D. So it selects the data that um, I have here. What I may want to do is uh, change the number of rows and um, specify a larger number of rows, like maybe 1,000, just in case I'm going to add new data from other semesters. And then I want to create a new sheet, so I'm going to click Create. So now I have a template for my table. And I have to specify what information I want to include in the rows and columns of this table. Uh, let's say that I want to summarize the grades by professors. So I am going to add the teacher's name uh, in the rows. So now I have a list of uh, individual professors or teachers who are in my data file. I can see that the list is not as long as I thought. I also have some blank spaces just because I selected all the rows all the way down to the end of the file. So what I can do to eliminate the blank spaces is go to filters and add a filter by teacher. And then um, from all of the values that I have, I'm going to exclude the blanks and leave everybody in here and then click OK. So now I have just a list of the professors in my data, which is uh, 10 professors. Um, now for each professor, I want to see the average grade. So to do that, I can go to the values tab and add the grade. And notice that by default, it includes the sum of the grade, which doesn't make sense. So I'm going to change the function to an average. And now I have the average grade for each professor. That includes so all of the students who have taken uh, courses from uh, those professors. And some students may have taken uh, classes from that professor multiple times. So. Um, in that case, um, I want to maybe break down this information by student and see uh, what was the average grade for each student uh, in each professor's class. So to do that, I can add another layer to the rows. So I'm going to the rows and add another variable, which is student. And notice that now I have, for each professor or teacher, I have uh, the average grade of each student and including the total for that professor, right? So I have each student who has taken a course from that professor and then the average grade for that professor. And if I scroll down, I can see that I have everybody in here. So this is basically a subset of the data where uh, observations are aggregated by student and then by professor. Now, uh, let's see how we can add more information in the columns. For instance, let's say that I don't necessarily want just the average grade, but then average by semester. 
So I can do that by including an additional column in this table. So I can go to columns and then click add and let's add semester. So notice that now I have grades by semester as well as the overall average grade. You will see some blank spaces. That's because maybe some students took courses from that professor in some semester, but not in other semesters, right? So uh, this is why the data look like this. Um, one way to clean the data is to change the number of decimals, and let's make it nice and clean by using only integers. And here I have a subset of my data reorganized by and aggregated by student and then by teacher. Um, please remember that these data are connected to the data in the um, sheet, in, in sheet 1, which is the data range or the data source for the table. So if I'm trying to make changes to this data, it's not going to work. So if I click on it, Google Sheet is automatically going to open that data in a different tab. Right, so I clicked on this cell and it takes me, it gives me the observation or the actual data that was uh, used as a source for that cell, um, which is, is not necessarily what I want. So I'm going to delete this. Um, but if you want to use this data in a different way, what you can do is just copy and paste it from here, or you can use it as a source for a chart. Uh, the nice feature that we have is that we can collapse data that are nested into subcategories. For instance, if we just want to see the teacher level data without the student level data, we can just click on the minus sign for each one and uh, we're going to have just the data by teacher aggregated uh, by semester. So let's say that I want to use this data somewhere else so I can just uh, copy it and paste it. Uh, make sure that when you paste it you paste special and then choose values only. This way you can make any changes to your data. So this is how you can use uh, pivot tables to summarize the data in a data file and use uh, different layers to reorganize the data into rows and columns.